This video uses vectors to prove that the sum of the squares of the lengths of a parallelogram's diagonals is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the sides. Okay, so consider the parallelogram OABC where vector OA is represented by A and vector AB is represented by B. Prove that the sum of the squares of the lengths of the diagonals of the parallelogram is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the sides. Okay, sounds confusing. Let's start with the sides. So with our sides, we know that vector OA has to equal vector CB, which is A. So we know it's a parallelogram. We also know that vector AB has to equal vector OC, which is B. So that means if we want to look at the sum of the squares of the length of the sides, we have the magnitude of OA, all squared, plus the magnitude of CB, all squared, plus the magnitude of AB, all squared, plus the magnitude of vector OC, all squared. So that's going to be vector A, all squared, plus vector A all squared plus vector B all squared, and it's the magnitude of these, by the way, magnitude of vector B all squared. So that's two lots of the magnitude of vector A all squared plus the magnitude of vector B all squared. Now let's look at the diagonals. Now I have to write the diagonals in terms of the sides. So if I look at OB, OB is going to equal OA plus AB. So OB equals OA plus AB vectors, which is A vector A plus vector B. And vector AC, looking at that other diagonal, is going to be equal to AO plus OC. So that's minus A plus B, which is vector B minus A. Now let's look at the sum of the diagonals. So the magnitude of OB vector all squared plus the magnitude of vector AC all squared, which when we plug in what we've got, that's going to be the magnitude of vector A plus vector B all squared plus the magnitude of vector B minus vector A, all squared. So we've just plugged in for OB, the A plus B, and for AC, the vector B minus A. So they can be changed into dot products, A plus B, plus the dot product of B minus A with B minus A. Expand those out. So let's see what I've done expanding that. Move on to the next one. That's expanding that out. 
So, looking at what we've got, we can cancel those and then collect. So we've got two lots of the dot product of a vector a with vector a plus two lots of the dot product of vector b with vector b, which is two lots of the magnitude of a or squared plus two lots of the magnitude of vector b or squared, which is two lots of, I bring that factor of two out, magnitude of vector a plus the magnitude of vector b, and what can you see? They are the same. So we have shown our proof. So we just need to write it out. And we are done. We've proven that the sum of the squares of the length of a parallelogram's diagonals is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths of the sides.